guys, what's up? Sherry here from Moonpox Giving Crew. So this is going to be a twin flame reading for oops, July the 29th until August the 6th. I hope you guys are all doing well. I apologize for getting the reading out late. I've had a migraine for the past three days. So I, I know I haven't been able to get rid of it. So anyway, I'm here. So I'm also a little late on some of the, the readings. Um, I guess that spirit's way of just telling me to take a little bit of a break. Okay. All right. So, um, starting with the feminine past position, third eye chakra. So this is using your intuition, your psychic ability. Uh, in order to, you know, tap into your own wisdom and knowledge that you've gained, um, you know, from your own life lessons. So this is telling me that the, you know, the feminine have really been doing a lot of soul growth, and uh, maybe there are situations where they really need to go internal to, um, you know, to deal with an environment or make, you know, life choices that kind of thing. But we'll pull some clarifiers. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Solar Plexus sh Chakra. So past position, um, Seven of Swords talks about, I apologize, I've been working on the cards a little bit, so i got paint on my hands. Um, so the Seven of Swords in the past position, this is not being able to trust somebody, feeling like they're not telling you the entire truth. Uh, feeling deceived, lied to, um, you know, just not being able to trust. So it's in the past position, so I'm feeling that, you know, the feminine went internal and used her intuition in order to guide her out of this thought space. Um, the Six of Cups is in the present past position, so this is a reunion, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood or from a previous life. Uh, so for some feminines, um, there may have been, you know, a connection, a reunion, um, talk of reunion perhaps, um, but you're bringing in the Seven of Swords, so there's this feeling of being deceived, like, um, you know, this connection, is it real or is it just a fantasy, you know, is it an illusion? But when she turns inside and listens to herself, she knows it's real. So there's, you know, even though there's, you know, this card also represents memories as well. But they're memories that you have of somebody that you hold dear to your heart. It also represents um, innocent, pure love, childlike love. No need, no, you know, desires, no nothing. It's just innocence. Um, so this could mean, you know, like she was questioning this connection, um, and maybe memories or thoughts were kind of playing in her mind, but again, she went within it to use her intuition to guide her out of that thought space. Um, the future position is the solar plexus chakra, so this is empowerment. Um, it is a lower vibration than the, the uh, third eye chakra. But I feel, you know, there was probably, you know, a, a test of some sort um, that she was given. And I feel maybe she overcame that and feels empowered as a result. Okay. So for the masculine, recent past, or just past position, four of pentacles. Uh, so in the Rider weight deck, you know, this represents somebody being closed off, holding on too tightly to something, um, you know, not being willing to share. Uh, in the John Holland deck, it talks about a firm foundation being laid or grounded. So, you know, I, when in the John Holland deck, I like to see it as that, as a firm foundation. Uh, so maybe there's a sense, you know, of groundedness in this connection, trust. Um, a start um, or the masculine is concentrating on material 
you know, the material world and his possessions, that kind of thing. So let's pull some clarifiers. Two of swords. Five of swords. Shoot. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, they're upside down. Okay. I'm probably, yeah. Darn it. All right. Um, and then the page of cups. So two of swords, past position. This is having two choices. Um, so they're life changing choices. Um, so, you know, there's a sense of stagnation because of uh, indecision, the inability to make a decision. Uh, so it's in the distant past position. So this is telling me that um, he has made a choice to walk away from a negative situation. The Five of Swords is conflict, defeat. Um, you know, being accused of doing this and that, right? So it's a pushing away energy. Um, so I feel that he's walked away from a negative situation. Future position is a page of cups. So this is a new beginning of love. It is communication of love. So he may have opened up to some of the feminines and expressed himself in a loving way, or he desires you know, a connection. He desires to communicate his, uh, the way he feels. However, the four of pentacles could represent that he's being closed off. Um, you know, he doesn't want to rehash any negative in his life and just kind of concentrate on himself on some level, I guess. Okay, so let's carry on. Okay, so what is in the present position for the feminine? Nine of Pentacles, material harvest. So this is ripeness, readiness. Um, you know, it's harvest so that the fruit is dropping from the trees, from the branches. Uh, so you put a lot of work into the 3D reality, into gaining abundance, into gaining your independence, your freedom, um, you know, really looking after yourself. Uh, and so you feel very, very grounded, and you know, and you feel like you have a lot to offer as well. So this is an arrival, or getting to an arrival. The nine means nearing the completion. So um, it's abundance and harvest in the three D world. The moon, seven of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles again. So the moon past position. This is the shadow self. Um, so this is facing your fears, um, anything that you've left hidden beneath the surface um, needed to be dealt with, and so I see that it was dealt with. Um, the Seven of Pentacles in the present position is waiting card. So this is putting work and effort into something and then waiting for its return. Now, you know, it's a, it's, um, a sub-message. Uh, it's a confirmation card for the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is the main energy. It's a feeling of being abundant. So even though you feel like you have it all, you're still waiting for something. You feel like you're being left in the dark. You don't have, you know, it's not being able to trust somebody. Um, again, not feeling like you've been told the entire truth, but you're waiting. So... Another message to this card is while you're waiting to reevaluate, look at the past and see where you've made the mistakes, and then that way you don't make them in the future, continue to make them. So the Nine of Pentacles is in the future position, again, so it's the same card. Uh, so again, it's, you know, harvest, ripeness, readiness, it's um, independence, freedom. So you need to realize that you are already there, uh, and to stop this waiting, um, you know, energy, it's, you know, it's, it continues to be brought up in, in the reading time and time again. Okay, so what is in the masculine present position? Patience, the temperance card. So this represents having balance in all areas of your life, whether it be mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual. Um, it is also the ultimate union card for Twin Flames, but I'm not feeling that meaning in this reading. Um, 
so I think, you know, it just means patience. There is something occurring in his life that requires patience in being in the now. Nine of Swords, <clears throat> the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, past position, Nine of Swords, anxiety, stress, fear, worry, guilt. So, this is staying up at night, being consumed by negative thoughts. Okay, so it is a past position. So, he is coming out of that energy. Nine is nearing the completion. The present position is the King of Pentacles. He feels financially independent, grounded, successful. Um, this is also a father figure. So I feel that he's really looking after himself right now. He's, um, I see self-love. Uh, he's been through a very difficult time, and so now it's time to treat himself. So there's, you know, enjoying the material world, but not placing a lot of importance around it. So it's like, you know, having your friends and family uh, and just, you know, enjoying life and not having to worry about things. So that's what I see here. He's looking after himself, self-love. The future position is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so this is working hard in the 3D world. So, you know, it feels to me like there is something that he needs to return to in the future, something that he's been working on, he feels very successful about. Um, but I'm also feeling a sense of mundaneness, ordinary life that he will be returning to in the future position. So he's trying to enjoy um, the material world now. Um, and it's almost a sense of avoidance as well that I'm, I'm seeing here too. It's like, I don't want to go back to that mental state. Um, so, you know, he could be throwing himself into work so he doesn't have to deal with these thoughts, I don't know, but he's seeking out balance either way. Okay, so near future for the feminine, seven of cups, choosing wisely. So again, there's that sense of being left in the dark, not seeing your way, you know, sitting on this pier waiting. Okay, but this card does have a different um, meaning in that you're going within, you're turning within and listening to your heart to guide you. Uh, so there's something requiring you to use your intuition and your heart. So this is having a lot of choices, not knowing which one to choose. The Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups again, and the Hermit. So, Eight of Cups in the past position, okay, so there was a choice that was already made in the past um, or that you're making right now, which is to walk away from an emotionally draining situation. So, like I said, there's something occurring where you feel like you're waiting, um, you're not trusting. And so I feel that, that in the near future, you're going to walk away from that emotional connection or need. Okay, so this is a pilgrimage in search of self. Uh, so it's in the near future, but it's also coming in the past. So it's something that's happening right now with the feminine. So the Seven of Cups, once again, same card, feeling lost too many choices I don't know which one to choose okay and in the future position we have the hermit so these cards are very similar in that it's you know being on a spiritual journey spiritual quest however you know it required the feminine to walk away from emotion emotions because all three cards is water which is emotions okay so it's a disconnect okay and although she still feels clouded and in her head um, she's not allowing her emotions to control her. This is a complete disconnect. Uh, the hermit has been on that journey for some time now. And so, you know, they, they found their light within. They're shining their light within. Um, so this is, you know, detachment from the material world, from its conditioning, from needs and wants. So I see the feminine detaching in the near future.
Okay, so near future for the masculine, shadow. So it's the moon card. Um, so it's coming in as a major energy. So when you don't deal with shit in the past, it will come back to haunt you. Um, so karma, you know, it's that energy return. So this is facing your fears, your shadow self. Um, so the near future, he will be entering a period of, um, I don't want to say dark night of the soul, but just fear, a darker period. And it's, and I feel it's because he's not making the decisions that he needs to make and kind of, you know, just really kind of avoiding, um, doing something that he needs to do, I guess. The Devil, Lover's Card, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so past position, the Devil. Um, so this is a codependent relationship, an addiction, or belief um, that you're not good enough, that you ha somehow don't measure up. Uh, so it's a chain. It's something holding you back. So it's in the past position. So it's a reason for this nine of swords it's the five of swords negative energy so you have faced or are facing still the devil energy and your desire is the lover's card which is you know that passion that uh, sexuality that hunger it's a longing for your twin flame or longing to be with them uh, in the future position is the Two of Cups, and this is spiritual union. So this is like a 5D connection. It's the heart chakra being activated, which opens up um, the consciousness to higher levels. So in the near future, he needs to deal with this devil, devil energy that seemed to be blocking this connection, or um, maybe he's dealt with it already, and he's still in a state of you know, facing his fears, maybe he's afraid to move forward with this twin flame connection or, you know, um, soulmate connection. It's a true love, right? So it's a hunger, it's a desire to have it. And then it's a movement, you know, towards um, a spiritual connection in, in the future position. So he's facing his fears in the near future. Okay, so final come for the feminine, passion ignited, the ace of wands. So this is a brand new beginning, a new start. Um, and it, you know, it's an epiphany, a kundalini awakening, um, but it is, you know, what I'm really feel, feeling here, I'm seeing the feminine, her heart chakra being opened up and just feeling love and passion um, creativity, that kind of thing. So it could also mean, you know, a new beginning, but I'm really feeling is this burning love flowing through her. The King of Cups, the Divine Feminine, and the Third Eye Chakra. Okay, so past position, king of cups, this could represent a water sign, but this is divine masculine, um, showing his love, expressing his love, being love, and it's deep, pure, innocent love like the six of cups. Okay, very emotion, emotionally balanced love. So a connection with the divine masculine in a loving way opens up the feminine and... Uh, through that connection, through that awareness, she sees herself as the divine feminine and really embodies the goddess of love. The future position is the third eye chakra, so it's coming up twice, so it's a cycle completing. It's a movement out of the mind, out of fear, out of waiting, and walking away from that confusion and, you know, in search of self, and here I, you find yourself. 
So this could be, you know, the King of Cups could be the masculine or could be the feminine, just, you know, uh, in being that king of love, unconditional love. Either way, you, you see yourself and um, there's an awakening moment. Okay, so final come for the masculine, two of swords, mental conflict, goes around, comes around, same card, distant past position, if you don't deal with it, it'll come back. So now it is a main energy card, mental conflict is schizophrenia, it's a split mind, cognitive dissonance, having two choices, one feels right and one is morally right, and not knowing which one to choose. The Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Very nice. Past position, the Three of Pentacles is a, a foundation being laid. Okay, so it's that pentacle, that seed being planted and growing. So there has already been a start, a foundation, uh, that beginning, and it's growing but there's a sense that there's still more work to do. So maybe perhaps, you know, he gets back to work, working on the connection or just working on himself. Uh, the Five of Cups present position is the mourning card, loss, pain, sadness. So this is an attachment to something. And when you attach yourself to something and it leaves, that's when you're left with this heartache. So as a final outcome, um, there is going to be a disconnect um, and a mourning period for the masculine because of this release but it's ultimately so that he will be following his heart and I say that because of the Ace of Swords is a decision right so this is indecision the Two of Swords the Ace of Swords is making that decision grounding that decision into reality, being unwavering, cutting away barriers, darkness, that's it. I love that this, uh, you know, is that future position. It's that final um, moment that has been dragging them both through, you know, this, these cycles that continue to repeat. When you, you know, don't deal with things, it will always come back to you full circle. So it's almost like, you know, he puts an end to that cycle. So there's two beginnings here, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So what are, what is the feminine bringing into, oh, very nice, into the union is the heart chakra, unconditional love. So you are in love with the masculine on a deep level. Um, and it seems to me it's, you know, if you guys are not in union, separated, then, you know, the thoughts are continuing to circulate through the feminine. She can't stop thinking about the masculine. And um, ultimately, you know, it's because of this deep love. You know, it's hard to ignore it. The Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. So we got two knights here. Both represent movement forward, um, but they're opposite ends of the spectrum. <clears throat> so the Knight, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles um, is a very slow movement, like a turtle, right? It's um, there's no rush. He carries his home on his back. It's like um, you know, but. It's one of my favorite nights because he always arrives at his destination. So it's a 3D energy here. So it could mean, you know, um, that this journey has been going on a very long time. Um, and you put a lot of work and effort into the connection in the 3D reality. So there was slow movement in the past and it will speed up in the future. So the Two of Pentacles is, you know, uh, it's a wind of change. Uh, it could also be feeling like you're being pulled in two different directions. You know, slow down, speed up, I don't know. But 
there's a shift happening in the 3D reality. Um, you know, the message to this card is to bend with the wind. The future position is the Knight of Wands, so this is a blast forward, very passionate, very heated, very determined energy. And it's towards, um, you know, the thing that makes you, you know, uh, like you feel authentic. It's your true authentic life. It has to do with spirituality. So uh, it, it's towards the thing that makes you come alive. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so that's what she's bringing into the reading. All right, so what is the masculine bringing into the union? Wow, the Four of Wands. So this is a twin flame connection, confirmation. Um, I always associate the Four of Wands with 1111. So this is an arrival in the 3D as well as spiritually, emotionally. Um, you know, this could represent marriage or buying a home together, but it is getting to the, uh, it's an arrival, but yet you have your entire future laid out. So it's that happy home life that you've always desired. So that's what he's bringing in. I love that you guys are kind of mirroring each other with this unconditional love. Woo. The King of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Death card. So the past position, King of Wands. So this could represent a fire sign, but this is really the masculine finding his power, his strength, being the leader, being the rebel, um, being the leader of a revolution kind of thing. They're detached, they're free-spirited. So this is empowerment, okay? And it requires power in order to cut away that negative that um, the devil energy. The Four of Pentacles is showing up again in the present moment. So here, you know, it's the same card. This is somebody being closed off or holding on too tightly. So although the masculine understands this connection and how it makes him feel empowered, there's a sense that he's closing himself off to it. The Death card is in the future position, one of my favorite cards. This represents metamorphosis transformation. Uh, it is the death of the old identity, death of the ego, okay, death of the devil. It's completely cutting away everything that no longer serves you. So it's a rebirth so that this can come in. Okay, so foundation the two of wands, the waiting game. So at the foundation, you both feel that you are waiting. Um, so this has to do with making a decision to embark on a spiritual, you know, uh, life, live your true authentic life. So this decision was already made in the past. Okay, so this energy is it represents a new life, expansion of the mind, seeing all the possibilities. Um, so it's an opening. So I'm going to pull one card for the feminine first. The Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords for the masculine. So the Ten of Swords is a completion and an ending. Okay, so in the past position is the Nine of Swords. So there's a nice progression here to the Ten of Swords. So, you know, he's cutting something negative out of his life. He had a choice. He made his choice to follow love. Okay, but he's still ending something. We got all these images of cutting away the Ace of Swords, cut away barriers, the Death card, you know, same idea, cutting away. And here's that chain that needs to be released with the devil. So the cutting is scissors as well, right? So it's a dark night of the soul. This is a feeling of being stabbed in the back over and over again and being left for dead. So that is what's causing this weight. It's this release that is coming in the future and which he's been avoiding, that dark night of the soul. And he's doing it, again, for love. Okay, so the feminine is bringing in the page of swords. So this could represent communication. This is, you know, the double communicator. Pages are messengers. Sword is communication. So very important communication. Um, so she, 
you know, this could also represent that she knows her truth. She's open to communicating on a truthful level with the masculine. Um, yeah, so it's it's like she's waiting to communicate. Okay, so crowning energy, and this card also represents communication as well. So crowning energy, nice, the hope card, star card. So wish granted, you both feel like your your dreams, your wishes are coming true. And Spirit is saying that, yes, you've been through the worst. The hard part is over now. Now it's time to rest and rejuvenate, look after yourself. Um, and I see that the masculine is doing that, but he might be doing it to avoid. <laughs> Whereas the fe feminine is, you know, trying to look after herself, and she will uh, in, in the future position. Um, but it's, it's all about a shift in perspective, okay? So I see self-love is required over here, and he is loving himself. Um, but like I said, there's a sense of avoidance. So you're both healing or a need to heal. Okay, so you're both going through that. So feminine first, knight of swords, and the tower. Jeez. Okay, so the masculine bringing in the tower. This is a sudden disruption. So major shit going on in the masculine. He's got some heavy cards here, really heavy cards. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm almost seeing like self-deprecation over here and the masculine, you know, is going through hell or has gone through hell. So, you know, shift your perspective, ladies. So, um, again, this is, you know, a sudden change. This is a house of cards, easily brought down by, you know, a slight breeze. So a faulty foundation is coming down at the moment. And so it's, again, you know, it's, comes down so a new foundation can come of it can be laid on top of it so that's why that three of pentacles is coming in the future a decision is made and you know it requires a loss it requires a sac sacrifice it requires pain um but the masculine is willing to do it because he's already been through the worst already so um the feminine is bringing in the knight of swords okay so we got the page of swords knight of swords is a movement forward a lot of knights on the feminine side so it's like you're waiting to move forward you're waiting for communication you're waiting for the truth to be to be spoken so you know there's like i want to move forward but you can't move forward until you've cleared you know this energy here So walking away from negative emotions or thoughts, um, that's what I'm seeing, okay, and self-love. All right, so heart-centered energy, eight of wands, accelerated motion. So things are speeding up between the two sides. Um, you know... I'm not really seeing that here on the masculine side, um, but maybe after that decision is made, things will speed up perhaps, um, but I do see that the feminine is wanting things to speed up, but, you know, they aren't because of that indecision. All right, so heart-centered energy, it's an energy shared between the two of you, so this does mean, you know, that um, things are beginning to manifest. You know, this is reaching for the stars and having that energy raining down. So it's manifestation. This also represents Cupid's arrows. So it's love messages between the two of you. So it could be communication. This is my second important communication card. So texting or by phone. Um, so there's, there's um, an increase of energy, um, of love, of, of excitement enthusiasm I feel between the twins and it's because of this unconditional love it's a one card for the feminine the wheel of fortune and the queen of pentacles okay so the king of pentacles is in his present position so this is a 3d king 
the one you can hold, feel, caress, kiss. Okay, so the masculine is bringing in the queen of pentacles. So maybe this is a desire to be with the queen, uh, the divine feminine, in the 3D. So this could also represent travel, movement. Okay, so maybe, you know, the masculine desires to travel or go to the feminine in the 3D. Or um, just that, you know, when he looks at the stars, he sees the feminine. Um, this also represents harvest, weightiness, independence, freedom, um, abundance in the 3D. So the Wheel of Fortune here, this is Justin Timberlake, what goes around comes around. So it's karma coming back, okay, completions of cycles from 5 to 10 years. Uh, so it's good luck, good fortune. Um, and whatever you put it out, you, you're basically getting back, okay? So there is a completion of a cycle. Uh, it's significant changes occurring. And so, you know, I think this is Spirit's way of saying that what you've desired is is coming back to you now. Um, that there's, no, there's not going to be any more looping, you know, that things that you've both been suppressing or avoiding will come to the surface and we will be dealt with by both okay and which will open that door for that um, that newness to come in the new beginning all right so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy wow transformation the death card so remember that showed up in the future position for the masculine and what he was bringing into the union um, so it's an energy of the overall reading, and I definitely see that transformation um, happening for sure on both sides. It is required of you on both sides, but it, it's happening more so on a more deeper level with the masculine. So again, this is you know um, metamorphosis. It is a butterfly uh, rising from the chrysalis. It's um, death of the ego, death of your old life, complete and utter change, rebirth. Okay, so yeah, very synchronistic reading here. You can see that uh, transformation occurring with a beautiful outcome. Okay, so I am now going to pull two cards. You know what, let's do, call it Baron Reed. But, so this is going to be a message from the universe. So feminine first, loyal heart, and the masculine, the fates. Very cool. I haven't seen those cards. Okay, loyal heart. So fidelity, loyalty, devotion. The oracle message, evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you, and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you, no matter the outer circumstances in your life. Trust and have faith, for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. Okay, so I think that just goes along with that Seven of Swords questioning, the Seven of Pentacles waiting, you know, Seven of Cups, again, not knowing which way to go. It's a lot of Sevens here. Okay, so return to yourself, return to your intuition. So if you feel that maybe he might be being disloyal to you, well, you don't own him. You know, he can do what he pleases. There is no... Um, attachments. Attachments is ownership, okay? And that is not true love. Uh, so let me read 17, the masculine. And vice versa, the feminine is, is free to do what she desires. Okay, the fates. So the meaning, fate, karma, acceptance, that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. So the oracle message. 
The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in your life, sorry, there are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature and by your, your past experiences may be faded preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. Okay, so yeah, it, it's making that decision is what I feel, realizing that you know, you can't change what's happened in the past. You can't change a situation. You can only make decisions that are right for you. Okay, and um, yeah, I feel destiny knocking on this door and following his heart. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And I also just wanted to mention too that um, I will get those readings out to you for a couple of people that still haven't received um, their readings. They, they, I'll have them done definitely by um, Monday for sure. So um, yeah, also I want to mention that when you leave a description, um, when you're ordering a reading and you leave a dis you know a short description of, of what you desire, try to keep them short, okay? <laughs> Um, if I, I come across an email that is intensely long, I, I tend to you know, skip over a lot of the details just because I'm, you know, really swamped with readings and stuff like that. Um, and also not to panic if you don't, if you've ordered a reading and, you know, you've sent payment already, uh, not to worry that, um, you know, you will get confirmation. It's just I don't want to commit to any new readings until I've fully completed the ones that I started um, this week. Okay, so I love you guys so much. Uh, peace.